Hello there everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron Forum host Mr. Trotsky Lover. But right now, uh, it is May 30th, 1952 and uh, at this point we're pretty much ready to go to war with the good old uh, Greater East Asian Cold Prosperity Sphere while we're ending the Kalk and Go conflict. Of course, like we said in the last video, the border conflict with Japan has gone on long enough. If we can't trust the Japanese government to respect a recognized border, then we'll just have to simply replace the government, which we have just uncovered or discovered jet engines. And let's continue with system decentralization. Stalin centralized not just a party, but the entire country on himself. This is clearly a counter-revolutionary approach, taking power away from the workers and putting it into the hands of a corrupt elite. We need to reverse this decision and direction, and allow the workers to decide their own fate again. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go to war with Japan. Um, now, I have set up... Uh, us putting quite a few planes, uh, literally on the Japanese home islands, um, in which we want to do a lot of bombing, especially for everything here. Oh, yes, please. Um, uh, all this other stuff doesn't matter, but, like, supply, air bases, stuff like that. But, I think it's time for us to have a good old time against, uh, Hirohito, if we can. Pop it. Um, yeah, I don't want to pop it down, but I just want to blow them up. Also, we do have our ships down here as well, trying to do a couple ship stuff. Oh, I forgot about these ships, too. Oh, well, you guys do that over there, and then you guys come over there, too. See what you can do. See what you can muster up. Um, we should be at war with the entire faction now, right? Cool. Just way we can just have, like, one solid front line. Uh, have you guys just go in as well. Go in if you can. Definitely over here as well. They would attack us. No, we're good. We're hopefully seeing a lot of convoys. Before we get too far, wow, that's 35 convoys right there. Um, they have... About over a thousand factories. We've got 2.28 million. They got a lot of divisions. They have a lot of divisions. Um, but we'll see what happens. Oh, I forgot about this too. Whoops. All these divisions up there. Oh, well. Well, you guys, though. Hopefully, now we can do this. And just go all the way in. Let them attack us. Let us have a good time. How are we doing over the home islands? We're doing a lot of damage, it looks like. Which is very good. I want a lot of damage done. Before we keep going on, though, um, 1 million. Not bad. Uh, they got quite a few convoys, quite a bit of uh, fuel. Fuel as well. Anything over here? Oh, yes, please. A lot of convoys are going to go bye bye. Actually, since we're here, anyways, um, I forgot. I did say this in the last video, but we do want to make a collaboration government to make it a little bit easier when we do take them out. Uh, Francisco and Yelena, thank you. See what we can do here and there. Oh, and they're trying to bomb us as well. Oh, down in Africa. Oh. It's a lot of divisions around here. That is quite a few divisions, not going to lie. Then again, no wonder we're sinking a lot of convoys down here. Nice. Eight more convoys sunk. We've lost 50,000 already. We've killed off 200,000. Jesus Christ. That's kind of insane. Not bad, though. Not bad at all. Which means we should be able to... 35 convoys sunk. Holy crap. Um, you should be getting a ton of experience then. Yeah, just go ahead and just get some planning done. Get ready to go in. Sunk a destroyer, light cruisers, two convoys, convoys and destroyers, five more destroyers, very nice. The goal is to keep them like just bottlenecked here and they, so that they can't do it very much. Free India's been called in, so be it. Uh, if that's the case, go in yourself now. Do we have the cipher done for them? I cannot remember. Yeah, we do. Go on in and see how many we can kill off while killing off our own manpower, and then once they're gone, we annex everybody literally in the game. Um, they'll release everyone as a puppet. Sounds like a, sounds like a plan to me. 24 more convoys, very good. Another 5 more convoys, very good. 4 more convoys. Uh, 6 convoys and a destroyer. 3 more convoys, very, 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 very nice. Nice. But yeah. Um, nope, not ready yet. Actually, for you guys, if you really want. Just basically do the entire world. At this point, you know. Um, just, like, do literally everything. Just because, uh, well, we pretty much need everything done. We take that, those ones off, that's fine. How are we doing over here? Doing okay-ish? Ish? Some more naval stuff? Oh, we didn't have all the sub stuff done yet. Oh, that's not good. Ooh. If you need repair, go right ahead. What do we have here? Um, some things? Watch out. So, have we lost 200,000 so far? Or, Yeah, I kind of figured that they'd be trying to bomb us as well. That's why I'm trying to bomb them in return, just in case. Bomb, 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 bomb. Oh, we lost some of our own convoys. That sucks. Of course, we have 7,000, so I'm not really too worried about that. 
Oh, look at that. A battle cruiser, 12 light cruisers, 51 destroyers, and 4 convoys. No wonder our ships are returning home. Yeah, they're not looking... Actually, not too bad. I'm sure some of the uh, screens got hit pretty badly, but not bad. So there are about 1,100 convoys. Once they run out, that'd be very good for us, obviously, but still. Nine more convoys. Casualties are what? 115,000? Half a million already? Jesus Christ. Oof. Wait, we lost a lot of a stock. How do we lose a lot of a stock? Yeah, how are you guys losing this? That literally makes no sense. You should have air superiority completely. Yeah, you do have air superiority. This makes no sense. But manpower-wise, they, they, there's no way they can compete against us. They might have a million and a half. And China might have a bunch too. But they have 35 million. There's no way they can compete against us. There is one enemy died already, which is pretty nice. Um, you guys over here? Ah, nice. Nice. Look at all those convoys. Go bye-bye. Oh, yeah, Venezuela as well. Well, it shouldn't take too long to kill them off, right? Right. Right. Uh, supply issues anywhere here? Do have our tanks over here too, which is not very good, but whatever. Anything Zukov? Yes. Ooh, logistics. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Well, if you're a field marshal. Well, that doesn't work. Um. Hmm. Well, whatever. So, if Kenya's gone. Goodbye, Kenya. Uh, what else do we research? Anything else? I mean, we're, we're pretty much out of stuff to research already, so. Nice. Convoys, two destroyers, two destroyers. Convoys, four convoys, tons of convoys. Convoy city, convoy nation. Convoy, 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 convoy. 800,000 have died already. Not enough, but hey, not bad. Less than 1,000. Good. They are pushing through here just a little bit, which sucks, but whatever. Wait, still be Tunisia. Wait, well, how did you get here? What the heck? What? Bro. No. Convoy sunk. Four convoys. Oh, we actually lost battleships here. Ah, that's because of their main fleet. Ah. We lost a sub in exchange for 23 convoys and a heavy cruiser. Okay. Ten more. Nice. Bad. We'll take these guys out very soon as well. Tehran, no, Tehran's got to go. Go and take out Baghdad. That Bernas. Wait. What? What? Why, why are these guys released? I never release these guys. Um. You know what? I'm not really too worried about it, since we'll be releasing people anyway. Anyways, and eventually too. I never. Why, why are these releasing? Uh, this is. I'll be honest. I'm literally recording this right off the last video. So how is this? How is this possible? I did not release these. I didn't tab over or anything like that either. That literally makes no sense. The game auto releases things for you for some reason, apparently. So, yeah, it's good to know. That is very odd. <coughs> Tons of combos just dying, dying, dying. Including your own sometimes. How have you not learned anything here? You're gentlemanly. Well, that's nice. That's not good to get any, any extra kills, but that's nice. Alright. Uh, oh, yeah. We should have absolute... Yeah, we're bombing them. We are bombing the crap out of them. As we should be. You bomb them hard enough, long enough, they don't have any planes left. Or infrastructure. The bridge is nice. There you go. Even more convoys. Beautiful. Two convoys, convoys, a bunch of convoys, convoys, you know, the usual. Like, Indian convoys, 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 convoys. Quite more few convoys. Convoys. How's Zukov doing over here? Uh, extra supplies? Why not? Um, hopefully pretty okay. There you, go, do that. you can do that because you can. Nice. So we've lost half a million yet? Uh, 300,000. We've got 2.3 million though. That's pretty nice. Oh, hello. 
I'm about to re annex them when we're done. Just, we'll see what happens. Because I, I want to like release everybody at the same time. So we'll see. Oh, merge with Mero Pearl Plant. Sure, why not? Gabon? No. I don't want Gabon. I don't want them to have freedom yet. Actually, with that in mind, can we nuke him? Ooh. Yes. Alright, so again, look at, look at the top of the screen here. We have about 70 some odd nukes. So, yeah, we're going to get a very, very nukey. And Japan will probably actually never ever recover from this. Just because we're literally going to be nuking pretty much every single tile they have until I run out of nukes. So, is it better to do Is it good to do it like this? Honestly, probably not. It's best to at least nuke every single supply point. But, you know, things happen. Hey, Omori, is this excessive war crimes? Uh, well, it's only a crime if you lose the war, so. Still 50 some odd nukes. I don't want to forget the lower half of Japan too, so. Alright, just make sure we snook every single one of these tiles. Trotsky does not F around when taking out other people for their own good and liberation. Kokoda, you see an airbase, we nuke it. Is there an easy way to do this? Can you just like just like press N on the on the keyboard and just like nuke? That make it easier. Then again, I don't think we're supposed to end up having 70-some odd nukes here. So, Japan's going to make, like, anime, anime like, 47 di different times over. Guys, that's going to just be nothing but radiation here. Literally nothing but straight radiation. Air bases go boom. I can't imagine trying to invade this after we nuke it to hack him back. Kind of nuts. Just nuke all the railways. Literally nothing. This is going to be Fallout Japan. That's all it is. Actually, that sounds like a fun game. Oh, uh, we got Saka. I feel bad when I'm gonna for my for our soldiers later on when we're gonna have to try to naval invade this area. Kanto. Uh, did you get all the air bases? I hope I did. Yeah, we literally used up seventy odd nukes. All right, let's see what happens. All right, everyone, let's enjoy this. I like. Oh my gosh. Oh, Cameroon. Now that's kind of beautiful. It's kind of bright. I'll be honest. Ah. Uh, Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at the, all, the, all those clouds. Oh, just breathe it in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mmm, radiation. Mmm, mmm. Thanks, Trotsky. Oh, and it's all broken. Oh, hello. I remember releasing the Dutch, too. What the heck? What is going on here? Why is Soviet Italy here? Woohoo! The game auto releases stuff. I just don't understand why it does that. Why? I know for a fact I did not click on them. I think my version is bug, but yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. A lot less fuel now. Uh, didn't do that many casualties, unfortunately. But still. Yeah. Just a couple of nukes here and there. That's all. Hey, it's on two carriers. Nice. Good job, guys. Of course, they probably have nowhere to go. I mean, after we nuke them so hard. They have less than 400 combos left. Well, that's good. No, Jordan. No. So you guys are great. You guys come back over here, though, because this is stupid. You guys, please don't die in the water, so come up here. You guys got encircled. What the heck, guys? Ding dongs. Let's go here. You'll be fine if you do it like that. You guys can keep these guys in place and stay that there in that division template area. You'll be fine. Come on, come on, take it, take it for the love of God, just take it. There we go. A little bit few more supplies. Not much, but a little bit more. Because Venezuela. As long as you capitulate Tehran as fast as possible, should be okay. 
Uh oh. It's alright. Nice. So we're trying to get over there. We've lost almost half a million now. It's not bad, not bad. Nice. Keep thinking of everything they've got. Million. 150. We got a lot of vision still, though. What else do I throw in? Rocket interceptors? We're kind of okay. Um, attack bombers? We only have 46,000 in spare. That's all we got. Sure, why not? We have another division there? I don't think so, man. D divisions? No, I'm, I think we're good. No, I don't think you need them. Yeah, no, you don't need that either. Air bases? Nah. Oh, we have no more nuclear bombs. Gosh darn it. I bet you hate when you run out of nukes. I know I do. Why are you guys taking so long to get up there? Finally, there goes Iran. Decentralization, all power of the Soviets. The revolution started with a simple idea, that the people should be allowed to decide their own destiny by forming councils of workers, soldiers, peasants. Only later, later was the system changed back uh, towards a system where unelected bureaucrats was made decisions from far away. When these decisions inevitably backfired, it was usually the workers who were punished. No more. A very thin veneer of soldiers around here. Nope. Nope. I don't know our army. Why are you so, like, discombobulated? Like, so awkwardly placed around here like this. It's very odd. I know we should deal with this one stuff, but whatever. Oh, did you need another nuke? Nice. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm doing Japan. Your patriotic war. Yeah, we're kind of okay. Agri Duke Um More metal, more weapons. Young builders of communism. Death to the invaders, huh? In the end, we'll probably end up invading with this group, I think. Yeah, this group maybe. We'll try to, at least. Nice. Keep thinking all them convoys, if they have no fuel, they literally can't do a single gosh darn thing. They're almost out of convoys, too. Good, good, good. Which means everywhere else should be getting crushed. In terms of supply and such. you guys make it yet? My god, are you guys going to get over there or what? Are they not suffering from supply issues? That's my question. Yeah, all part of the Soviets. And then, after that one, we'll probably do regional development. Rather than have a small number of centralized plants and leaving the rest of the country to starve, we must ensure that the development of industry is spread across the entire Union. Pretty much. We're out of stuff. Oh, how are we out of guns? I did delete a lot of them off screen. Still. Alright, so we're done with that stuff. Anything for tanks? No, we're pretty good. Planes, it is. Nice. Oh, they made it up here too, huh? Unfortunate. Uh, more ships, more ships. 
convoys and oh a battle cruiser and a carrier very good no stop asking i already said no once oh i'm gonna say no again the next time too Thirty-one left. Thirty-one less than a million manpower already, which is actually pretty good. Uh, you guys get nuked. Hiroshima. Oh, hello, Hiroshima. Goodbye. Nagasaki. You didn't need that. Plain stuff. You didn't need that. Afghanistan. This is the third time you did it. Shouldn't be too hard to take out China, right? Right. Right. Are the tanks over here? Oh yeah, they're doing actually pretty okay. Make it all the all the way over here again. What a bunch of soldiers, man. How are we doing down here in the Iranish territory? Anything over here? Nothing too much. Beat him back, beat him back. Keep going, keep going. Actually, how many more divisions do they have? 370, that's quite a bit. That's still quite a bit. Literally just... Okay, can't even keep them in place, huh? Because we don't have air superiority here. Uh, then again, I mean, they don't have a lot of planes either, so... Did you go in yet, or what? Keep going in, keep going in. Ah, you guys did finish up, that's nice. Um, wow, this is really sad. This is stupid. I don't know how they ended up over there, but that's really stupid. Um, mm, other than that one, I don't think I really need Nikolai anymore. It's a pretty good general, but it's a little laggy. Mediums. New Mongol Empire's gone. Pretty nice. Pretty decent. Ooh. Ah, a carrier. Nice. Another carrier. Nice. And they're out of convoy, so which means they cannot get any more fuel, so they're kind of done. And mankuko has gone as well. Oh, another carrier. Nice. Very awesome. How many ships do they got? Which means they have to dock all their ships, right? 167 left. They have a couple carriers left. One battle cruiser and six battleships. Ah, oh, we sunk another carrier. Eventually, we're going to sink this carrier too. Beautiful, my friends. Oh, they sunk another carrier. Another two heavy cruisers. Oh, there's two carriers right there as well. Um, we're going to need more supply bases around here too, probably. Then Ah, oh, we can't get supply through because they went all the way up top. Well, actually we still get supply through there, but still. Oh, go right there. You can them all off. You'll be fine. They'll be fine, I'm not to worry about that. Nice. So if we have a uh, enemy ships docking the port, and we do blow it up. Does it blow up the port? Uh, Nagasaki. Might as well. Make them go a little more boom, 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 boom. Regional development. I'm sorry we're not doing the trade unions, but maybe in the next campaign. Autonomous Soviet Republics. Well, we'll do this one at the very end. At the very least, we can keep doing move industry to the Urals. Wars come to us, and the homeland's under threat. While our forces will fight to the last bullet without giving a foot of ground, we cannot ensure that this will be enough, given their forces are right around us. Or against us. We must evacuate factories of safety before they are overrun. Not a bad idea. Hey, you got, you got soldiers here? I think they gotta get nuked. So, how are we pushing? Are we doing okay here? Seems like overall, yeah. Now, you're a logistics wizard too. Nice. Good. We like it when they're logistics wizards. Do we lose eight divisions here? We might have. That's not good. Do I need to nuke China? 
Can we try to? We can't even yet. Taiyun? Oh. Do we have any more? Ah. Ha. Ah. Yeah. Throw them in the tanks. Because you can. And now you guys have fully been cut off in the cold Siberian wastes. Ah, I love it. Any more ships? Yeah, upgrades level 6. I don't know why they don't have it with a tactic here, too, but whatever. Oh, look at that. Nice. Indians here, huh? There you go. You need one of these. I just keep nuking the airbase so they can never, like, muster up defense against us. Two divisions? Yeah, let's nuke that one. Anything else? Anything else? Nope. There we go, just in case. Yeah, let's keep moving in, keep moving in. So we've lost about 1.27 million. We cut off 7.5 million, though. Not bad. Really not bad at all. There's one nice. Come all the way over here then. Because then we will navally invade. Oh, Japanese Pakistan. That is something I don't think I would have ever seen before. Nice. Absolute air superiority. Um, lots of planes still. Cass. Transport, transports. Oh, we have any strategic bombers? No. Well, so I'll have to cut it then. There you go. Keep bombing even them even more, cause you can. Wait for the soldiers to get on the line, they'll just keep bombing them. Almost 6 million Japanese soldiers have died. And it's still not enough. Wow, we have 250 subs right there in one group. Look at that. 250 is kind of extreme, but you know what? I kind of like it extreme. So because I can't get any more convoys through, or not too many more. 145 ships, uh, 700,000 men in the, you know, men women in the Air Force. 291 divisions, max. Uh, no convoys. They still have a little bit of fuel, though. And just constantly just nuking the crap out of Japan. You know, you think after getting nuked, you know, like, literally 70 sometimes, they would capitulate, but... I guess not. Shang-Chi is gone. Good. Oh, we're out of nukes. God dang it. Let me make more nukes. Oh, yeah, stuff here. Oh, it's these divisions, the ones that we made for our uh, Japanese stuff. It's fine. 6.7, 6 million have died so far. Not enough. Where are you guys at? Hanging out in Africa? That's what, you, that's what you always want to say. Yeah, I'm just hanging out in Africa. Having a good time in Africa. You, me, and African buddies. Sounds about right. Alright, so since I don't want to wait any longer. Go from here to about. Eh, doesn't really matter. Nagasaki, maybe. Region development's pretty darn nice. Right there as well. God dang, is this game laggy? I'll probably delete all my divisions too when we're done here. So I made it this group as well. It's Kokoda. And. Go right there as well. Really just snake your way into there. If possible. Well. Why don't we delete these guys? Oh, we can't. Well, there you go. Do we need them? No, it might help us reduce some of the lag. Yeah, we could still use them, but impregnable fortresses. 
Soviet engineering is now able to cr create truly fearsome fortifications, easily capable of standing up to even the heaviest bombardment, nearly impossibility to take it in an assault. With extensive stocks of ammo and supplies, these forts will hold out against enemy attack for years if necessary. Oh, Leningrad. Oh, yeah, they got a lot more stuff there, Leningrad. Oh. That's pretty darn nice, Chrome. You get the same sort of idea. Nice job making it, guys. Nice job. I've killed off almost 7 million Japanese folk. Dictor Sinkyong is about to die as well. Not bad. Nice. You guys still going in? Having a good old time? I hope you are. Soviet Tunisia, thanks for playing. You guys? Uh, you too. Yeah, okay, planes here. Not for long. Hiroshima. Nagoya. Of course, we do have to invade here later, but whatever. If you exist, you gotta get nuked. Nice. Oh, a Zuka off. Oh, you're not even offensive. Get a level 8 attack. It's level 9 general level 8, with, 8 attack. That's pretty good. Go for the buster as well, because you can. And uh, go on in when you can. See what we can do. Coastal defense ship. Yeah, we probably don't need that. Hopefully we can win here. Can we send in a friendly nuke first? Oh no, if we do, we're going to nuke ourselves. Look at that. Amphibious assault special? Sure, why not? Naval liaison? Amphibious? Yeah. Nope. There we go. Let everyone come on in. Let's and just go ahead and invade. Oh, there goes India. Oh, do we create the collaboration government? 45% collaboration. Nice. We have to get Japanese China's well capitulated, which they have no division, so. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, but then again, I've been wrong before. You're suffering from a lot of attrition and such. Yeah, it's not good over here, man. Not good. Air base. A lot of air. Not a lot of good air, but a lot of air. Oh wow, that's a, now that's definitely destructive. Eight. Guys, can you just go on this way, guys? Yeah, dingleberries. Chuckleheads. Steel is doing a great job. Ah, you guys are great too. Did you guys win? Nice. Not quite done yet, so I'm not going to delete you just yet. Oh, wait. I forgot about the Tibetans. How could I forget about these guys? Or Nepal. Oh, my goodness. My fault. What would I ever do without Nepal? Or Bhutan. I forgot Bhutan's name, but yeah. Yeah, just force the attack. I should capitulate relatively soon. Oh, Japanese China's going to capitulate, though. 99% of the way there. We've lost almost 2 million. We've cut off 11 million. That's not enough. So many Chinas right now. And, oh, Japan itself capitulated. Nice. Well, Tokyo. Ninety-five. Ninety-five days. What? Uh, hold on. Let's. Let's 
Is any better? 35 days, yeah, that's better. Sure, guys. I don't remember ever making you, but whatever. Nice job. Oh my goodness, it sucks. I just really love the Far East for some reason. So, who's left? Nepal, Myanmar? Why? Why is Myanmar a. Uh, Rangoon? Well, we got the collaboration government at least. Pretty India's coming back with a vengeance, man. Can y'all go and just go in? Should be able to just go in pretty easily. Um go there. Good. Bhutan's gone. Good. We've only lost 11 million. So stupid that we actually have to get Myanmar. Chinese Empire's gone as well. Mukuko. Sure, guys. Why is Nepal a major power? This, the Holy Four needs a definite rework in terms of uh, peace deals. Like, oh my gosh, why? Because Nepal. So that should be it then, right? After Myanmar. Shremovic. You're not bringing Delhi back. They already capitulated once. They're going to die again. Capital of Myanmar now. Oh crap, we gotta go. What are these guys? Burma? Oh my god. Do we have to. Oh, I hate this stupid system. Why is it so god awful like this? Why do we need to take every single tile? I don't understand. It's 1953, man. It's flipping 53. It should be done by now. This, these states would not be able to survive without the Japan propping them up. You got me. Oh my God, you got so cold, didn't you? How do they not suffer from any supply loss? It just makes no sense. I don't delete you. But it's pretty bad, so. I guess can finish him off down here. Uh, you guys go to Burma. You guys doing okay over here? Thank God Tibet died. Couple more days left. Oh, still doing naval stuff. Wow, that's pretty bad. Impregnable fortresses. And. 
kind of Soviet Republics, Far Eastern fortifications. Ever since the war with Japan in 1905, we kept a weary eye on the region. It's so secret that the elements of the Japanese military look at our Far Eastern holdings with unshamed greed. We must prepare for confrontation in that region and have to take steps to slow down any enemy attack to gain time to deploy forces from Western Russia into the region. We won! Alright, so let's just use consequence or anything else. Um. Yeah, that's really stupid. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. You know what's bad? A bad system? When flipping Myanmar becomes a major power. Alright, take everything we can. That's the way we roll here. And we don't need like 17 different Chinas, so... My god, there's just way too many independent states. There we go. What? What? Oh, okay, I'm using cons commands. I'm sorry, I'm done. I, I wanted this to be a, as fair as possible, but we're using cons commands at this point. Screw that. Screw that. Are you kidding me? Annex all. Screw that. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. For the 17th time in this video. Stop it. So. Hello. I wanted to annex everybody. Oh my god. Why does this not work? Cons commands don't even work. Like, I'm not going to take out Fuji. That's stupid. What the fuck? Why are you... Why are you blue? Why would they be blue when they're under us? We get a Pol Nel state? So stupid. Well, regardless. Think, uh, this is pretty much the end of the campaign. This is extraordinarily stupid, the way this is kind of set up. I'm sorry, but, like, I've got to be honest here. Um, yeah, this is stupid. But a ton of Soviet republics. In the years following the revolution, Stalin's have worked hard to remove regional identities and suppress workers' self-determination in some regions of the Union. The counter-revolutionary character of these actions is self-evident. Are the workers of some Soviet republics wish for a greater degree of autonomy, we should grant it without hesitation. Azerbaijan, Armenia, Georgia, superior war machines? Tanks and armored vehicles have developed significantly over the past decade. While large armaments and industries have produced and supplied them, we can create superior vehicles and employ them in mass against the enemy. Protect the White Sea, Baltic Canal. The canal between the Black ba or Baltic Sea and the White Sea is a marvel of modern engineering and cannot be allowed to fall into enemy hands. Game stop going. Soviet artillery. Today's wars are won through the scientific application of firepower in the right spots. We'll focus our efforts on the developing on not just better guns, but how to employ them in as an effective a manner as possible. Oh, that's not bad. Anything else over here? Just because I this is the longest campaign I've done. Oh, yeah. Found the ComCom. The war has shown that we need to improve our cooperation and economic development of our friends and partners. To that end, we will form an organization to coordinate trade and economic development between our nations. Better consumer goods. Join the ComCon. And then, International Union of Soviet Republics. The greatest possible betrayal of a revolution was the idea that socialism could, or indeed should, be built in one country. Either all workers in all countries will achieve, achieve together socialism, or none of them will. While the revolutionists in different stages in different countries will share resources to ensure that it moves forward in all allied countries which the workers control the government. Modest factionalism. More stability. Development of aid for the Eastern Allies. For centuries, Western imperialism and colonialism have brutally exploited the countries in, East, in Asia. A modest investment from us would enable our allies in Asia to reassess further capitalist encroachment that much more effectively. War measures in the East. The global struggle against fascism and other counter-revolutionary ideologies will certainly reach Asia before too long. We must make it clear to our allies that in desperate times, desperate measures might be needed. Annex Tanatuba. While it hardly matters economically, that for political reasons, we should formally annex the People's Republic of Tanatuba as an autonomous oblast within the Soviet Union. Uh, the Supreme Soviet has received a formal request from the Tuvan Parliament for membership in the Soviet Union. They'll be reorganized as a Tuvan Autonomous Oblast in the Russian SFSR. Welcome to the Union, comrades. Fortify this one. Uh, that should be it. And we also, uh, the Alaska one was auto bypassed when we took out America, too. So that should be it for all of our focuses. So now uh, we have Union of Soviet Republics, which this is just half baked. I'll be honest right now. This is really half baked. Just because we have Belarus as a puppet, but not Ukraine. We released Azerbaijan. And Georgia, with the guy, same guy, uh, brothers. And then we have this guy in Armenia. Uh, is that it? That I don't like that at all. Occupied territories? <sighs> oh, I thought I was going to do this off screen, but whatever. Uh, Canada? Yeah, I guess? Like, it doesn't make any sense. 
Uh, oh, the province of Canada. What happens when we release America? Uh, what does America start with? A? Switzerland. Syria. Sweden. Oh god, I'd release all these guys. Uh, the UK? Uh, America. Oh, there's definitely some lag. Communist States of America. Uganda. We're just going to release as fast as we possibly can right now, so. Release! And look at the lag. Oh, yeah. Um, of course, we could create collaboration governments, but. So, basically, yeah. We're just going to lose everything. But they're all going to be our puppets. So, let's see how much research we can actually get. Oh, wait. We released Austria and the, Austri <laughs> the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Oh, that's probably a bad idea. So, after all that, we're literally going to release everybody as a puppet. How much research speed can we actually grab here? We're in the seas now. Oh, boy. Some of these smaller ones are really easy to make just because it doesn't take that much processing to get rid of some of these guys, especially states in Africa that no one gives a crap about. So, we're in D's for now. We'll soon be in E's. Do apologize for this. But yeah, it's been one heck of a campaign. What I recommend a world, but well, it wasn't quite a global domination conquest for us. We didn't get everybody, but I'm not gonna bother invading flipping Fiji. Are you kidding me? Honestly, you should straight up annex them. If their overlord capitulates, you just straight up annex them. It doesn't make any sense. French economy takes a while too. Uh, the German Reich, of course, as well. Amazonas. But now we're gonna lose a lot of manpower, a lot of factories, um, probably most of our nuclear bases as well. So. But yeah, this campaign, definitely probably not going to do another World Conquest for a while. I mean, I spent, I spent a lot of hours doing this off screen, like, between this episode and the last one. Not too many, but before the second and third one, between those two, that was quite a bit. Tehran. Look at our factories, they're just dropping like crazy. Jamaica. Japan. Actually, Japan doesn't have that many uh, territories. Not really. Jordan. Nice. Korea, Kurdistan, Kuwait. Come on. Not that hard to liberate them all. What? Where's my just like liberate all button? <laughs> Even Luxembourg. Mexico, Nepal, Netherlands, Antilles, New Mongol Empire. Uh, New Zealand, Nicaragua, Niger, um, Nigeria, Norway, Oman, Balan uh, Pakistan, of course, other Pakistan known as pa Palestine, Panama, um, Papua New Guinea, Paraguay. There's a lot of nations we took out, for better or for worse. Uh, Peru, of course. After Peru would be the Philippines. It's getting laggier as we're releasing more nations. Uh, Polish Republic, of course. Republic of Cambodia. Not Cambodian Republic, but just Republic of Cambodia. Republic of Chi Cheyenne. Cayenne. Oh my gosh, how many republics are there? There's way too many republics in the world. Peru. Indonesia. Laos. Madagascar. Qatar. Republic of Suriname, Trinidad and Tobago, Turkey. Oh my god, it's just... Hoi 4 needs a new engine. Or really, whenever Hoi 5 comes out, I hope there's a new engine, because it's it's pretty bad. They need to have multi-core processing, because right now it's mostly just single core, and it's just it's not good enough. Uh, Vietnam, of course, Republic of the British Antilles, Rwanda, Sarawali, Arab Democratic League, or whatever it is, uh, Saudi Arabia, Siam... Even though we did release a couple of these nations earlier. Mexican Socialist Republic. Uh, Sierra Leone. If you want to skip ahead in the video just a little bit, that's fine with me. Just because you might have already done that, but whatever. Bulgaria. Not not just any Bulgaria, but the Socialist Republic of Bulgaria. The Solomon Islands. Somali Sultanate. Tahiti. Oh, why do we need to get Tahiti representation in our World War II game? Tanzania. Come on, Tibet. We've killed off millions of people in this entire campaign. Uh, Togo. Zim okay, get in Zimbabwe. That's good. And then we're going to return a lot of territory after this. 
Altai, Algeria. We're going to fully decentralize everything we have. So that's what it's supposed to look like right now. Um, what do we have here? Peak, of course. Elias, Torres, you, Paulet. This is a really ugly god off of. Oh my god, these boards are so bad. Greater Lithuania, holy crap. Wait, I released Estonia with these guys? People's Republic of Estonia, Finland. Oh my goodness. Soviet State of Norway? That seems kind of. Wow. Iberian Socialist Union, remember those? Yugoslavia, of course. Wait, Association of Autonomous States. What? What type of flag is that? With the hammer and sickle in that one? Oh my gosh. This is a Hungarian group too, it looks like. Oh my goodness, that is disgusting. Oh, oh. Yugoslavia got all the way down to Central Macedonia and split Hellas, the Aegean Commune, in two. Are you kidding me? Bro. Who's leading the Palestinian state? Some bullish guy. Uh, anything else really crazy here? Not really. Iberian Socialist Union. Darn colonizers. Soviet, Soviet East Indies sound like a lot of fun, though. Communist... Ch oh, my gosh. That looks disgusting. Mr. Balding. Ma Bufang. Oh, Kim Il-sung. Nice. So, oh, wait. What is this? We have another one? Oh, offer pull and protection. Yeah, why not? Demand Balkan... Oh, they accept. Offering to take the Polish People's Republic under our wing and guide them to future conquests in the West in exchange for territory in the East turned out to be a successful approach. Being promised a share of Germany in case of a successful war or protection, they agreed to cede their Eastern territories to us peacefully. Demand Balkan submission. Seek Baltic cooperation. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely do that one. Um, is that it? Oh, fortify a Mongolia border. You want to read about that one? Please go ahead. Yeah, a little crazy here. And yeah, Iran looks pretty bad. Do we actually get? Oh, we actually took this Levo in this area too. Um, but like I said, we're not done yet. Give it back to him, <laughs> because look at all these hits we got to get rid of as well. So how small can we become? Um, let's go look. Algeria is fine. Altai. Bashkortostan. Uh, Bukharan Jadadist Republic. Chechen Ingus Republic. Chukotka Republic, Chuvashia Republic. There's so many republics. Chuvashia. All right, and then the Crimea, of course. Um, the Far Eastern Republic is after them. We're gonna be very small. Federal Republic of Kardashian, something like that. I don't know. Kalmykia, Kalmykia, Karelia, of course. Um, Kazakhstan is pretty a big one. Actually, Kazakhstan's a pretty massive state or nation. Kivan Jadidist Republic. The Komi Republic. Taborutsky Daddy. Oh my gosh. We can balkanize so hard here. After Komi, though, Kyrgyzstan. Mariel Moldova. Mountainous Republic of something there. And Nenetsia. Nenetsia. This is getting really ugly. North Ossetia Alania. Ostiak, Volgo National Republic, probably. Republic of Baratia. I've heard of Baratia. There's some, some Valery guy there that lives there eventually. Republic of Karak, Karak al Pakistan. Republic of Turkmenistan. Where's Litoust? A Republic of Ukraine. Never heard of that one. Wow, it's lagging hard. I just want to release the North. Why is it lag so hard for that one? Uh, Republic of Uzbekistan, Republic of Volg Volga, Germany. Wow. Uh, the Saka Republic, Tatarstan. Yeah, it's like extremely hard. It's ridiculous. Uh, Taimaria, Tuvan Nationalist Republic, even though we literally just annexed them. Um, Udmurtia. Yamalian Republic. It's lagging so hard, I can see my spinning mouse wheel sometimes. Oh, that's, that's the last one, okay. So we're really just butchering ourselves here really badly. I 
This is really disgusting. So is there like no Central Siberian Republic or something like that? And Yamalian Republic will be the last one as we do. Wow. This is god awful. Like just how it looks. All this border gore. The Far Eastern Soviet Republic. They're all the same people. International Soviet Republics. Look at that. Local Soviets. Of course, they got that one too. System decentralization. Oh, look at this. He just changed suits. He leads both, but he just changes suits. And he has a hammer and sickle on one of them. Look at this handsome guy. We still have almost 500 factories too. That's kind of ridiculous. Look at all these guys here. They just change suits. That's all they do. Where are you? Um... Well, we've literally released everything we possibly can. Joint military program. Uh, Balkan diplomacy. Well, that's alright. I could pop, of course, as well. I think that's probably going to be it for us here. Propaganda efforts. Um, what does this one look like? System decentralization. Local Soviets. Oh my gosh, it's lagging so hard. Just trying to get through one day. Soviet military. Oh, games of the 12th Olympiad in New Tokyo. ComCon, minus 3%. Uh, Soviet Air Force is looking a lot better. Red Army is looking quite a bit better as well. Factionalism is not bad. Uh, we only get 16% USSR Academy of Sciences. That kind of sucks. What's, is there any point to decentralize? Doesn't look like it. But hey, let me know in the comments below. What you thought of this campaign? This has been definitely a very weird one for me. But hey, at least the world is, is all in the 4th International. But if you joined the campaign, ooh, go broader. Please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Fanny Edelman, who looks old, oh my goodness. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day once again.